Rip currents are the leading cause of weather-related deaths along Alabama's Gulf Coast. Several people have already drowned this year in the Florida Panhandle. Today, we're raising awareness of the dangers of rip currents. WSFA 12 News anchor Sally Pitts is joining us from Gulf Shores. Sally? You know, Mark, it can happen so quickly getting caught up in a rip current. One moment you can be enjoying the water the next second and you're being pulled out. Joe Ethan Phillips is the beach safety chief for the city of Gulf Shores. Unfortunately, a lot of people have already lost their lives along the Gulf Coast this summer. What do you want people to know before they arrived here at the beach? The main thing is to know what the beach flags mean and know what rip currents are and to check all that stuff before you get out here because by the time you get out here, you're ready to go. Um, you, want, you see the sandy beach and you're ready to hit the water. You're not really paying attention to it. So pay attention to that stuff before you get here. You have yellow flags flying today. Remind us what that represents. A yellow flag is a moderate risk of rip currents, uh, medium hazard. So there are rip currents present today. We have a moderate risk today. So they are out there um, and we do have a long shore current that's pulling as well. So um, there are dangers out there on yellow flag days and we want people to be aware of that. A lot of folks think it's just those red flag days where folks can get caught up, but it's not. It can happen on a yellow flag day as well. That's right. Um, like I said, yellow flags are that moderate risk and there are rip currents out there that are pulling. They just may not be pulling as hard or the surf's not as big for a red flag day, but it's still very dangerous sometimes. A lot of folks overestimate their swimming ability. How big of a mistake is that? And then what should they do if they get caught in a rip current? Yeah, a lot of times people think that this is a controlled environment. So they think they're good swimmers and they may be in a pool, but when they get out here and they step in an inshore hole or a rip current, they, they're they overconfident and then they panic. And that's the, the number one thing you don't want to do on a rip current is panic. So you just want to relax, float, let the rip current pull you out. And if you're able to swim parallel left to the right of the rip current, then swim that way and then swim in. If not, call for help and uh, swim near a lifeguard and let us come get you. Yeah, always swim near a lifeguard. You have several up and down the beaches. They're up how many hours a day? We're on the beach from uh, 10 a.m. till 6 p.m. And then we have a very short staff that will respond to calls until 8 p.m. Joe Ethan Phillips, thank you so much for joining us. Several restaurants here in Gulf Shores and Orange Beach have these coloring pages for children. On them, it tells you about rip currents, and it has this QR code right there that you can scan to get that water condition information sent straight to your phones. You can also text AL Beaches to 888-777. If you're in the Panama City Beach area, you can text PCV Flax in that same number, 888-777. Mark? Good to have that information on hand. Sally Pitts.